Well, one of the things I've always discussed, whether it be on Michael Savage, Glenn Beck, locally here with Mike Trevisano, or on my own talk show, just Google Gary the Numbers Guy, DSN, and you'll find it every day at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, is the number 11 and how the elite love, absolutely love to plan their little terrorist attacks on 11 days. Whether it be the 11th, like 9-11, or the 29th, like the stock market crash in 1929 that happened on 1029, 2 plus 9 equals 11. Or Hurricane Katrina, which happened on the 29th. You know, one of the things I always tell people is look at the numbers because it all has to do with vibrational energy. So when I make my predictions that major events happen on the 11th, the 29th, or 11 days in total, like, like for instance, Oklahoma City happened on 419, 1995, add everything up together, add to the 38, 3 plus 8 equals 11. It should come to no one, no, it shouldn't be shocking anyone at this point that the Moscow airport bombing, the first major terrorist attack of 2011, happened on an 11 day. 124, 2011. Let's do the math. 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 1 adds up to an 11. And that's the day the so-called Chechen rebels decide to strike. Well, see, what people fail to understand is the people who are controlling the Chechen rebels are the same people who are controlling the governments around the world. And it doesn't matter if you're in a fascist society, a fascist ruled under fascism, ruled under communism, or these so-called democracies, where your vote counts, right? The one thing terrorist attacks all have in common is they're going to take away your rights, your civil liberties. I mean, think about it. Here in the United States, if you go on a plane, TSA agents have the right to molest you. They're, they're legal perverts. They have a badge. I mean, it's ridiculous. And one of the things I look at Obama is Obama, right after he lost the election in, uh, uh, when the Republicans took back, took back the House, a few days after that, he told the TSA agents to start groping people. I wonder if that's a little bit, little bit of payback from Obama for, against the American people for voting against him. See? That's what I'm talking about. Think about the timing. <laughs> you know, they're going to use every excuse in the books to take the, your rights away. But going back to the terrorist bombings, you know, a lot of people are like, hey, Gary, you know, that's just one event. Well, let's think about the last major event that happened in Russia. It happened on 3-29-2010. Again, the 29th, where there was a big, big subway bombing. You guys remember that? Happened on the 29th. So you see, whether it be America, 9-11, or Oklahoma City, or whether it be another power, like Russia, which had, which had its airport blown up, had its subway blown up on 11 days, you see a pattern here. And the pattern is the elite keep doing this on purpose because they believe most of you sheeple out there will never get it. And if it wasn't for people like me, you probably wouldn't. But not to give myself too big of an ego, but something must be done. And the thing is, what do you do? That's what people ask. What do you do? Well, do you pick up a gun? No, they got more guns than you. Believe me, I'm not anti-violence. I'm not going to tell you a whole bunch of BS that violence doesn't solve anything. Oh, no, no, no. See, the people in power always tell the masses violence doesn't solve anything because they don't want them to rebel. Think, people, think. Um, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, did they use picket signs against the king or did they pick up guns? Think about it. But if our, one of our founding fathers who said, the tree of liberty must be shaken with the blood of patriots and tyrants every now and again. If he would have said that today, that would have been considered hate speech. But yet, this is one of our founding fathers. My point to the people out there is start thinking outside the box, which is, by the way, the name of my show, Outside the Box with Gary the Numbers Guy. Um, <laughs> you know, when it comes down to what you should do, do what I do. Spread knowledge, because if the masses get a hold of this knowledge, they won't be able to kill us all. 
they won't be able to stop us all. In 2011, the government's going to come down, they're going to start clamping down. And in 2012, expect war because uh, whenever it's a five year in total, that means change. And what they elite change means war. Remember the last major war that broke out, uh, the Iraq War, 2003? Two plus three equals five, just like 2012. Two, zero, one, two equals five. So we have a lot ahead of us this year. And I want you guys to keep paying attention about what happens on the 11th, the 29th, and any day that adds up to an 11, like the Moscow um, incident that happened on the 124, 2011. Keep your eyes open, folks. I can't do this alone.